Hello dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about second unit of IGCSE chemistry that is separating substances. We know about mixtures that mixtures are the substances having different molecules physically mixed together without any chemical reaction in between them. These mixtures are further classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous. Talking about homogeneous mixtures, they are the one in which the molecules or the substances are totally mixed with each other and cannot be easily seen with the naked eyes. For example, when sugar or salt is added in water, you will see the solution but you will not be able to identify sugar and salt particles inside the water. Heterogeneous mixtures are the one in which whenever a substance is added in the water, you will be able to see that substance present inside the water as it is insoluble in water. For example, mixture of sand with water. When sand is added with water, you will be able to identify or see sand particles clearly present in the water. We will be further discussing about homogeneous mixtures which are also known as solutions. So solutions are a type of homogeneous mixtures wherein the substances mixed together cannot be easily identified or seen with naked eyes. Solutions are made up of solute and solvent particles. If I talk about sugar solution, which you can see on the diagram given alongside, sugar dissolves in water. As it dissolves in water, you will not be able to see sugar particles present inside the water. So, solution of sugar with water is a type of homogeneous mixture or also known as solution. Same thing can be seen with salt solution as well. Now, talking about sugar solution, when sugar is added with water, sugar particles are having different properties and water particles are having different properties. You can see in the diagram that sugar particles are shown with different size of circles whereas water particles are shown with different circles. But please understand that the diagram is given for our reference and so they have shown different types of particles. But when we will see sugar solution in a glass, we will not be able to identify the particles as given here. Now. Talking about solubility of the solvents, if I talk about water as one of the solvent, not all particles present in nature are soluble in water. Many of them dissolve in water, but there are some exceptions which do not dissolve in water. So here we are talking about solubility of the solvents. As solutes and solvents are changed, even the solubility changes. Some solute particles dissolve to greater extent in the solution, whereas some solute particles may sparingly dissolve or does not dissolve at all. For our reference, we can see the solubility chart given over here, wherein they have mentioned about how different substances dissolve in 100 gram of water. We can see in the chart that silver nitrate easily dissolves in water as the extent of solubility is maximum but another compound of silver that is silver chloride it does not dissolve in water. So the solubility is not constant for the solvents it differs from solute to solute. If I talk about a solution say sugar solution. If I take a glass of water and I go on adding sugar in the glass of water spoon by spoon, there will be a point wherein no more solute that is sugar will dissolve in the solution. It means the capacity of water to hold more sugar particles is over. That is no more sugar particles can be accommodated within the solution. Then what can you do to add or dissolve more sugar in the solution? 
it's simple to understand that we have to create more space for adding more sugar particles. How can you increase that space? You have two solutions for that. One, you can increase the temperature. As you increase the temperature, molecules will gain kinetic energy and they will move away from each other. As they move away from each other, there will be space available to accommodate more sugar particles. So, extra sugar particles which are remaining at the end as undissolved particles will now be able to dissolve at increased temperature. How can you increase the rate of solubility? If I give you a solution containing sugar, you can just stir the mixture. As you stir the mixture, again the particles they gain kinetic energy and they make more space to accommodate particles inside the solution. So, if I talk about a saturated solution, it is a type of solution in which no more solute dissolves at that temperature. As I have underlined the word at that temperature, you should understand that it is a keyword for saturated solutions. So, for saturated solutions, they are saturated only for that particular temperature. If you increase the temperature, they will be able to accommodate more particles and so they will not be called as saturated solutions. In this video, we have understood what are mixtures, classification of mixtures as homogeneous and heterogeneous substances, solutions as homogeneous mixtures, what are solutes, what are solvents, solubility and how to increase the solubility of the substance by changing the temperature. To add at the last, when we talk about the solvents, we have a major solvent that we use in our day-to-day -day life or in industry that is water. Water is also known as universal solvent as it can accommodate many substances within it or dissolve within it. But along with water, we have other solvents as well like ethanol or acetone. Now, acetone is something that we use to remove nail polish from the nails. In next video, we will be discussing about purity of the substances. Thank you.